Hi, my name is Bob Greenia and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I got a workable USB extension lead for the thermal imaging camera here. And uh, you can see that, you can see my foot on the ground here. And uh, it's kind of in line with the actual optical camera. And the cool thing is when I remove my foot, you can see my footprint. So I've learned a thing today. You can see where someone's been by their footprints that they leave. So if I just run a whole bunch of footprints around here, uh, you can see that's uh, quite impressive how quickly it'll pick up that signature. Again, here on the wall, which is really rather dull, I'm gonna put my hand there and you can see when I pull it away that I've left a hand mark on the wall, which is invisible. There I go. I'll do another one over there. And there we go. Can we write something? Let's write, uh, I don't know, we'll call it Zeus. There we go, Zeus, Project Zeus, written there on the wall, now disappearing. Let's try that again. Cool, right? So I'm gonna to have to do a 3D printed um, holder for this, but the registration is much better. In fact, it's just gone off now because the sticky tape that I have is out of position. Now the actual sensor in the thermal imaging camera is off to one side. And I'll show this in a picture in a minute. The result is that it's back in, back in position. So I'm gonna need some sort of 3D printed unit. So it's a little bit more complicated than you first think. But anyway, uh, we're gonna find a workable solution to get these things essentially synced. So here is the configuration I have uh, with this extension lead. A little bit awkward, uh, I'm sure you could work out something more perfect, but it turns out that on the S21 Ultra, it is this main lens in the center that you need to be closest to, and this is pretty good. Um, but actually in the Fluke IC, the actual image sensor is offset. I guess they had a reason for doing that, but that means that you actually have to have the... Um, the build, building up on one side to get this at an angle uh, so that the two sensor images will align. And so I think what I'm gonna to need to do is to make some sort of 3D printed holder to put on this so that uh, these images can be correctly aligned between the two sensors. Thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.